video of 2023. Everyone's favorite, the supersize sales of $100 or more. And these sales come from my Facebook group where we have a dedicated thread every month for your $100 and more sales. So make sure you are posting your sales on that thread for possible inclusion in these videos. So we're going to get started with Bill Hunt. Bought these Rainbow High dolls and a bunch of their clothes at a yard sale for $30. Listed the dolls as a lot. Took an offer later that same day for $100. So kudos to you, Bill, for getting on that and getting them listed right away because this is what keeps us addicted is those sales that happen as soon as something's listed. So here is the listing rainbow high lot of 15 dolls, some accessories, 30 bucks sold for a hundred. Leslie Kidd. I really think this is the coolest tie I've ever seen. I don't know anything about them, but this was awesome and designer. Paid $5 at an estate sale and listed it high. It sold less than 24 hours later for $100, which I thought was a fair offer and much more than I ever thought I would get when I paid $5. I have three more of this brand but none this cool. The item is Vintage Vitaliano Pancaldi Colorful Abstract Geometric Tie. Five bucks sold for a hundred. And that kind of reminds me of a Jerry Garcia tie. They're just wild and crazy and mixed up patterns and yes, very cool looking. Okay, Wendy Krueger. Paid $3 at an annual clothing sale. Sold in two weeks for $100 plus shipping. Moulin Rouge Silk Scarf. Andre Toulouse Lautrec. Famous artist there. So this was $3 and sold for $100. Becky Sanders. This snake belt was such a fun item. Found at the Goodwill for $2.99, sold within a week for best offer of $100. I was not familiar with this brand, so I was pleasantly surprised. My daughter had the perfect dress to model it for me. This is vintage Whiting and Davis snake belt, gold tone mesh, or necklace. And Whiting and Davis is known more for their mesh purses, handbags um, from back in the day. These can even be antique. So yes, Whiting and Davis. And I do have a lesson in my premium library about Whiting and Davis. So you can go check that out. If you're not a member, there is a code under the video for a free trial. So you can go take that lesson for free and be in the know about Whiting and Davis. Bethany Henderson paid $8, sold for $100 in two days, like new condition. This is Ariat, which makes um, equestrian and outdoor clothing. Duralite stretch canvas field jacket, eight bucks, sold for $100. Andrew Silvaroli won this for $6 in local online auction. This is the second time I've come across this brand and it sold quick prior, meaning the first time. It took about two months and went for full asking. Prince Machabelli Aviance Night Musk. 0.55 ounce spray cologne. And wow, lots of <laughs> um, international words in this video so far. So you guys are are testing me with pronunciation but so far so good. This was six dollars sold for a hundred and five. D Sweeney paid five dollars at my local thrift store. Pricing was a bit of a challenge but 
finally landed on $109 after a bit of research since this plush was in great condition and was a desirable model based on year and label. Took eight months to sell and will make someone happy for Christmas. Animal Fair Henry the Puppy Dog plush yellow 18 inch. Five bucks sold for 109. Okay, moving on to the famous and fabulous George Kelly. Bought this cookie jar at a garage sale for $10. Accepted an offer of 118 plus shipping. Took two weeks to sell. Vintage Uncle Mistletoe Marshall Fields cookie jar. Christmas collection. 10 bucks sold for 118. And that is the George Kelly style. <laughs> We all want to be him when we grow up. Okay, Christina Moore has a fun vintage item. Who ever thought these would come back? Bought this 8-track player in a box of 8 tracks at a yard sale for $5 over the summer and had it sitting around because the AC cord that came with it didn't work. Finally bought some batteries and did some research and found it was a popular one. It plays great and I added a video to the listing to prove it works. Sold in a week for full asking of $119.99. This is a rare Panasonic 8-track player. And it's like portable. So you see the handle on it. That's very cool. But um, yeah, raise your hand if you remember playing 8-track tapes in your car and it would switch over in the middle of a song to like the next track so there was sometimes an interruption and um yeah the great days of eight track players but this probably sold for nostalgic purposes um so five bucks turned into just under 120. joshua harrison bought this at goodwill for 14.99 listed in April this year, which is a bad time to list winter sports items, but Joshua, I'm going to disagree with you because anything can sell anytime. You don't know who might be looking for these and they're they have an alert set up. They could be looking all year long. So, um I'm just going to respectfully disagree with you on that. Anyway, back to Joshua. However, it was still up when winter came around and just sold for best offer of 120 plus shipping. Buyer left positive feedback. These are Nike Zoom Force snowboard boots. 15 bucks sold for 120. And I commend you on being patient, Joshua. Yes, everything sells eventually. Emily Smith paid $20 at a garage sale this past summer. Finally got it listed and sold within the same day for best offer of 125 Not much by this designer, but the lady I got it from said she got it on a trip to Italy. So I'm just going to take a stab at this. Is it Guidi? Italian made leather travel brown bag. 20 bucks sold for 125 Dina Napoli. Paid $7.50 at Savers on half day off for this Disney Cinderella Gus and Jack framed lithograph by Mark Davis from 1988. I'm not a big Disney fan, but thought the matting and framing was well done and added value to this lithograph. Listed for $125, sold for full asking within a month. Disney, Cinderella, Gus and Jack, Lithograph, 1988, just exactly what she said, $7.50 and sold for $125. Tina Wozniak, found in Goodwill Bins, paid $1.60. For some reason, this set has fragile bricks, so we had to replace three that snapped when taking it apart. Listed for a week. Lego Architecture, The White House, with box, Washington, D.C. $1.60 sold for $125. And I love that you 
found your replacement parts so that you could sell it as complete. Susie Palmer Grant paid $3.60 at a thrift store and sold on sale for $127.42 plus shipping in about three weeks. I'm not very knowledgeable about hats, but this one sort of screamed, pick me up when I saw it. This is a Stratton self-forming hat, National Park Service Ranger. Hmm. And I can see that being part of a costume or used in theater or drama because um, yes, it is a national park type ranger hat. So $3.60 sold for $127.42. Franklin Godfrey sold in less than a week, bought a bunch of Fontanini at a church sale a few years ago for dirt cheap. This piece cost me $7 been sitting in my profit pile until now. This is Fontanini Heirloom Nativity Village Lighted The Home 5 inch collection. Sold for $129.99. And Fontanini, if you are not familiar with that, I also have a lesson about that in the Premium Library so you can go and learn more so that you will be armed and dangerous for next Christmas. You'll know about this, you'll know to look for it, and you'll have some to sell maybe. Next up is Katie White. Picked up this Lego set for $4 at a local yard sale. Everything was still sealed inside. It was the end of the day and I didn't know how it had made it through the whole day without someone grabbing it. The comps were a bit higher up to $175, but I'm closing out my store on December 31st, so I took $129 in a heartbeat. This is Lego Marvel Super Heroes, the Abelisk Guardians of Galaxy. $4 sold for $129. Bethany Henderson paid $27 at a thrift store sold in a few hours for offer of $130. Probably could have gotten more, but love a fast flip. The thrift store had H&M boots priced for $27 too. These are vintage red wing brown leather nail seat Pecos slip-on western boots. $27 flipped for $130. Another Christmas item, Colleen Olson found this in a box of decoration I had packed away. Bought years ago, but never had a place to put it. Looked it up and decided it had no sentimental value. <laughs> I feel you on that, Colleen. Sold for $137 in about 40 minutes. This is a vintage 17-inch Santa blow mold. So free to her, and she picked up $137 by rehoming it. Someone else can own it and love it and it has moved on. Holly Feger bought this at my first home invite. My name was passed on to a couple getting rid of electronics. I was able to pick up two old gaming systems. This was one of them, a Super Nintendo Entertainment System, two controllers and five games. Paid $25 for this bundle. Thankfully, my 22 year old son helped me test it. Everything worked. It sold for full price overnight of $149.99. So there you see all the stuff. And Holly, I commend you on putting your name out there and being invited to shop someone's home because as we've seen with many other sellers, um, that is a viable way to get inventory in great condition. Leslie Wilson. Bought this collectible Christmas mobile glider in box at Goodwill for $4.99. Sold for $150 in about a week after listing. Rare 1998 Possible Dreams Flights of Fancy mobile glider. Five bucks sold for $150. Amy Lundkin. 
found this set of knitting needles in the bottom of a bin of random craft stuff at my favorite thrift store. Paid $1. Sold on best offer for $159.99 after about five months. And these are Knitter's Pride Interchange Needles. So very valuable. $1 and flipped for just under $160. Francisco Infante, I found this jacket at an estate sale I stumbled upon. I saw it tagged for $3 and nearly fell over. I grabbed it and figured I'd get $40 to $50. Turns out it is a rare Carhartt jacket. Probably could have gotten more, but for $3 I was happy with the offer of $175 plus shipping. So canvas, ha ha, good one, I get it. Canvas the territory. Canvas is the fabric. Dad joke alert. <laughs> Good one, Francisco. And happy thrifting. So there you see the jacket. And he paid it $3 for it. Sold on offer for $175. And added a little humor to his post. Okay, Melissa Sluck. Vintage TLC Color Magic Barbie doll bought in Barbie lot at garage sale for $25. Sold within eight hours, took best offer of 175. So there you see one Barbie sold for $175. And she doesn't even look that great. Her hair looks kind of rough and <laughs> I mean, not in perfect condition. So um, that goes to show anything can sell. Lewis Prizzy. Paid $15 at a thrift store, sold for full asking after about two months. Hand-stitched, cruel embroidery, floral framed picture wall art. $15, sold for $184.95. And Lewis, I commend you for knowing your needlework. Anita Burnett. Bought these last year at a local thrift store for $3 each, so paid $18 total. Sold for asking price plus shipping. I wanted to keep them so badly, but I'm happy with the profit. Yeah, I would be too, Anita. Rare. Metropolitan Museum of Art Alice in Wonderland Ornament Replicas Set of Six. Her investment, $18. Sold for $195. Brian Rappaport. Yes, a $100 supersize video would not be complete without something from Brian. Picked this up at a garage sale in March. Ended up at the bottom of a pile, so I didn't get it listed till November. Sold for $199.99 plus shipping. Platinum Polonaise Heirlooms Musical Christmas Egg Ornament. So didn't say how much he paid for it. Probably not very much. Sold for just under 200 Okay, Julie Brown. Vintage 1987 Avon Christmas Advent Calendar. This is my third Avon Advent Calendar with mouse to sell in the last two years. I thought that the prime time to sell this was past, being that it was December 9th, and I had sent out several best offers. I found this at a church rummage sale for $1.50 and sold it for $199.99 plus shipping in 10 months. Can't wait to find another. And if you are not aware of this item, it is on page 29 of the 2022 Bolo Handbook. It is a 1987 fabric calendar with movable mouse to indicate the current day. Many sold in new condition. Avon is not printed on the calendar itself, only on the packaging. And you can see the price there, $200. That still holds true here at the end of 2023. So just a side note on my books, there are three. The fourth is coming in 2024. I will keep you posted on that. I'm working on it now. But these books are all different. 
all unique items. So if you have all three of them, that is 375 different items. So if you don't have some of the previous ones, you can go back and get those. They're available in my store. Um, and you can read through my feedback on my eBay account to see what other sellers are saying about these books. They are educational, the items are evergreen, meaning they've been good sellers for a long time and they will continue to be. So um, my vision here is like a set of encyclopedias for eBay sellers that you can refer to for a long time and learn these items. There are large color photos so that you can look at the pictures and remember the items. Um, so just be aware that these books are available and if you don't have all of them <laughs> you're going to be missing out because there are no repeats and that's by design. Each book has 125 unique items that you can learn about and ultimately make more money on eBay because the smarter seller makes more money. Okay, moving on to Jomira. Bought this on one of my favorite estate sale company that does 75% off on its last day. I paid $5 for other stuff with it. Got a low offer of $100, but held on to it. Sold first day of December for asking price of $200. I can say this is one of my highest ornament sales up to this date. So what is it? Rare Hotel de Coronado 125th Anniversary 2013 Holiday Ornament. So $5, but it came with other stuff, so less than $5, and sold for $200. Congratulations. Kim Smith paid $14.99 at Goodwill, sold on best offer of $205 in about one week. Red Wing Iron Ranger Men's Work Boots sold for $205 and she paid $15. Megan DeYoung. I had two amazing sales this week, both from sales in the past 10 days. One was a vintage Pan Am thermometer made by Honeywell. I purchased it as part of a lot, so maybe $10. So there you can see Pan Am, Honeywell, Airways, Airlines, Advertising, Desk Thermometer. Ten bucks sold for 250 Zachary McDoor, a.k.a. our garbage man philosopher. <laughs> And here he is with some circus punks that he talked about in his podcast before. One final lot of circus punks from a large lot I bought last year. Decided to keep a few for myself, so no more to sell. And these sold for $256.01. So he's had several of these. And um, look at these crazy items. <laughs> One look at those and you'll never forget them. Kind of scary. Don McMaster. It took over a year to sell, but I knew eventually the right buyer would come along. I paid maybe 50 cents as this was in a large jewelry jar filled with multiple items. I paid $10 for the whole jar. Sold for 275 And this is a vintage signer gold rope chain necklace. 50 cents sold for 275. Marla Sheary purchased this at a family run estate sale, paid $40 for half a truckload, so just a few dollars for this. Sold this Gersten Christmas electric cardboard fireplace for $265. And light bulbs, $89. So I don't know if that's a separate sale. Looks like it is. Fun fact, I have a photo of my brothers and I around 1972 with our cardboard fireplace. What a great sale. Mary Van Rennes purchased at the Goodwill bins, paid approximately $1.49, sold on seven-day auction. Vintage Star Wars Original 12 Action Figures Lot 
from 1977. And how in the world did you find all of those together at the bins? I'm guessing they were bundled like in a plastic bag or something because to find all of them like that? $306 for this $1.49 purchase. Ashley Duval bought a grab bag of Christmas items at the Goodwill for $6.99. I had already recouped that before I even started to list this ornament. Imagine my surprise when I looked it up with Google Lens and found that this artist's ornaments sell for multiple hundreds and are very sought after. Took a best offer of $340 shipped after a few days of being listed. Moral of the story, weird always sells. Absolutely. So the item is vintage. Jan or Jan Zimmer, not sure if that is a Scandinavian pronunciation, paper mache egg Christmas ornament with cats. Seven bucks sold for $340. Okay, Wanda Horton Craft. First time posting here. Congratulations, Wanda. Thanks for playing. I read this thread and watch the video every month. Well, great, you're in it now. <laughs> Back during the fall, I bought a Pinocchio Disneykins loose set of six characters for $2. They sold for $50 on Etsy a day after listing. After 25 years of reselling vintage stuff, this was my introduction to Tinykins. So, yes, TV Tinykins by Marks Diorama Playset. Hanna, Barbera, Flintstones, and Cartoons. So let's see. I'm not sure what the $50 on Etsy. Oh, I guess that's where you did your research to see what comps were. Gotcha. Okay, so this sold for $349. Congratulations. Laura Vandermolen. Paid $30 for all, accepted offer of $425, took about two months to sell. Vintage Amerrock Antique Brass Carriage House Switch Plate Outlet Covers. Excellent. $30 sold for $425. Julie Gambino paid $20 at a local thrift store, sold for full asking price while store was on 20% off. $479.99. Took around four months. This is Vintage Brass Elephant Table Lamp. $20 sold for just under $480. Kim Womack found at online auction for $13. Sold for full price in less than a month. Shipping was a challenge, but it went to a public library. Excellent. Braille Bible 20 Volumes Complete Set. What an interesting find. $13 sold for $499.99. That is just outstanding. Okay, here is our cover photo. Todd Eeks. I was drinking coffee out of this bad boy until a few years ago when a co-worker told me how much it was worth. It was given to me by co-workers after working a special project at the Yokosuka Naval Base about 10 years ago, so it cost me nothing. Sad to sell those memories, but selling a coffee mug for $500 creates a whole new memory that I am more than happy to experience. Um, yes, I'm on board with that, Todd. So this is Starbucks 2009 Japan Tokyo Icon Collector Series City Mug. Free and sold for $500. And this is when everyone runs to their kitchen and starts looking through their coffee mugs. Because who knows what you have in there. Okay, and we're going to end with KC. Purchased five of these coats at a garage sale event from the U.S. Ski Team for roughly $200 each in a bulk buy. I sold two last week with one at $599 and one at $509 after about a month of being listed. Very cool item. 
Kappa U.S. Ski Team Official Sponsor Athlete Jacket Coat. So he bought several of these coats, came out to be $40 per coat, and sold this for $599. Okay, we've made it to the end. Thank you all for watching and for watching my videos all year long. I love how everyone shares their sales and information so that we can all be better sellers and learn new stuff. Wishing everybody a happy, healthy, and prosperous 2024. See you next time. Bye, everybody.